Hello and welcome to Blackstar Enhance. I'm Emily Dye, the trainer here at Blackstar Solutions. We're a trusted telecoms provider. Today I'm going to help you with presence in the Starleaf desktop app and what it means. When you're searching for a colleague in either the calls or the chats windows, you'll see a little colored icon to the bottom right of your internal colleague's avatar or profile picture. So this is where I'm pointing my mouse just now. This is called your presence, and it lets you know what the status of this user Starleaf app is, uh, so you can make a more informed decision about whether or not it's worth calling them or sending them a chat message. If you don't see an icon, so for example, with my colleague Mark here, it means that this user is offline. The app is either closed or the user hasn't interacted with their computer for the last two minutes. On a mobile device, it means the app either isn't running or has been pushed to the background. This user likely won't pick up or answer a chat right away. If you see a green circle, like with my colleague Simon here, it means this user is available. Their app is running and it's active. They've been on their computer recently, or if they're on their mobile, it means the app is in the foreground. They'll likely answer if you call or send them a chat. An orange circle with a handpiece in it, like on the demo user here, means this user is currently in another call or meeting. This could be a one-to-one -one voice or video call, uh, or it could be an ad hoc or scheduled meeting that the user has joined. This person is highly unlikely to answer a phone call, but they may well respond to a chat message. Finally, a red do not enter sign, like on my profile there, uh, means this user has set their presence to do not disturb. They won't receive notifications for calls, messages, or meetings, so there isn't a lot of point in trying to get hold of them. You can change your presence to Do Not Disturb by clicking on the bell icon found at the bottom of your menu. Uh, you can choose to be in Do Not Disturb for a preset length of time, or if you choose until, you can set the end date and time yourself. Uh, you can always disable Do Not Disturb earlier than planned by clicking on the bell again and choosing End Now. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for updates on future Blackstar Enhanced videos. If there are any videos you want me to cover regarding anything at all, please comment, or for further assistance, you can email enhance at blackstarsolutions.co.uk. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.